your hand goes numb, generally. Not dangerous. And after five minutes, you open up the stopcock, the blood rushes back down into the arm. This simulates exercise. As the blood rushes back down into the arm, it stimulates the glycocalyx. The glycocalyx says, oh, here comes a bunch of blood. The underlying endothelium releases nitric oxide. The smooth muscle in the artery opens up, and the blood rushes back down to your hand. Your hand wakes up. And then the test can measure, well, how much do the arteries dilate with that response? And your artery should at least double in size, but optimally triple or quadruple in size. If it's less than 1.68, so your artery's only dilating 68%, you have what's known as endothelial dysfunction. The arteries can't release nitric oxide on demand. It's kind of like the force field is down. You're more prone that whatever's floating through your blood, the cholesterol particles, the white blood cells, they're more likely to stick to the artery and you're going to develop plaque in your arteries unless you do something about it. So it's the stress test for the arteries that we do in the office. Now you can't do that at home yet, but there are tests that you can do that can give you an idea, is this a problem? And so we talked about it and we got some of the uh, Oh, here stuff, comes the toys. All the toys that All right, are so around. for those of you who are listening, not watching. I'll describe them. So Let me let me try that. Yeah. Yeah. So I just drank um, stuff. You're not supposed to drink anything, You're supposed to right? wait at least, you know, 15, 20 minutes. But, oh, uh, center of the earth is yeah. kind of cool. All yeah. right, you talk about this. I'm going to... She's going to play around with the I'm going to play tricks. around with it. It's, so, okay, this is not going to be accurate yeah. because I just have been drinking... So they look like little litmus paper strips. There's a little pad on it that you put saliva. You then bend the tab over. There's a little developer uh, pad on the other side. And if you have nitrites in your salivary pathway, the thing will light up red. If it does, that means you're generally getting a lot of nitrates into your diet and you potentially have good bacteria in your mouth.